What's up everybody, Stance Bro here. How you guys doing? I got another weird build for you guys. I don't know how I came across this, but my buddy had it and he gave me a good deal on it, so I couldn't pass it up. Uh, it's a key van or a micro van, whatever you want to call it. It's not, a Jap it's not a Japanese car, unfortunately. It's Chinese and it's 50% owned by Ford. It's kind of weird, but it's pretty dirty. I really like it though. I've never seen one before. Uh, I already got wheels for it. You guys know me. So we're going to throw the wheels on it and we're going to clean it up because it's really, really dirty. It's probably been sitting for like two years. But yeah, I like it. Let's get right into it. I'll show you guys around. All right, guys, here it is. I know it's pretty dirty, but it's pretty cool. Let's go over it a little bit. Yeah, left-hand drive. It's got 22,000 miles on it, or kilometers, whatever that is. Got a five-speed. Feels good. Not bad. Yeah, it's completely dirty. And here, there's the seat, I mean the motor. I did a little research on this, it's Jing, Yingling, Yingling, something. But yeah, they make, uh, they make motors for Isuzu, and that's uh, 50% owned by Ford. And then uh, the Metro Microvan, they're out of business, and uh, Kia owns owns that now that's what I heard pretty dirty this thing sits eight people I, don't, I wouldn't want to have eight people in here's death trap yeah we're gonna clean all that out let's see there's a Changang automobile co 2003 seats 8 wow a tiny little radiator tiny And I mean everything is Chinese on this car. Everything. All the wiring, everything. I even checked under here, that Bosch is the only thing that's not Chinese. But it's made in China. I heard these are good motors. We'll see. Well, it looks really good, actually. A little overfilled, but that's okay. And it's fuel injected. That's pretty cool. Yeah, rat turds everywhere. Little transmission down there. That starter looks pretty new. Cool. Rear wheel drive. Alright guys. There's the wheels I got. I think they're going to look pretty cool. It should bolt on universal four lug. All right, guys, let's throw on the wheels and let's clean it out. And on the next video, I'm going to start it up. I'm pretty sure it'll start. Let's do it.
Oh, well, it doesn't look like these lug nuts are going to fit. These are from the Honda. I got it off of 12 by uh, 1.5. Yeah, and then these acorn ones won't work. They won't even fit in there. All right, let's go check my spare ones. These are Subaru ones. Let's see what these ones fit. Oh yeah, nice, those fit good. They got black spray paint all over them. Let's get all of them. Okay, pour it in. All of it, yeah, all of it, pour it in. There you go. Oh man, I look really good. I love how it looks. That looks really cool with the mud flaps right there. I love it. I'm digging it. Let's do all the other ones real fast. Then we'll blow this out. Still got to get the door out of the back of the truck. So let's do it. My buddy said it ran good two years ago. Oil looks good. We're going to drop the tank, uh, put some uh, new fuel filters on it, and uh, put a battery on it. And I bet you she'll run and drive good. The clutch feels okay. Brakes feel good. Yeah, I'm pretty confident in it. But if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a comment. We're going to clean it up better next time, and we'll give it a wash. And hopefully, we'll drive it. Uh, I'm pretty sure we will. All right, guys. Take it easy. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks.